everyone welcome back for another video my name is Brenda Nyawara I know I have not posted a video for the past one month over a month and it's mostly because for the month of October and now leading on to November I've had like three major happenings which have kept me so busy to a point where I could not even sit down to shoot a video or edit I think I've mentioned earlier on that I had exams the first week of November so like the whole of October I was just preparing, it's my professional exams and then also we were organizing a convention, our annual convention, um, the Architectural Association of Kenya and so that was the day after my exams, Monday, Tuesday exams and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday convention and also WIRE, women in real estate were doing amazing things and um, being part of the youth that's taking over for a month, you know, I became president, chairing meetings, making decisions, um, thinking about how to make it energized and vibrant, you know, that all that is on my docket right now. At the same time, you know, also we, we are basically trying to get back in the flow of things as you all know rona has really affected everything happening around us and so work wise at the same time i'm also thinking okay so how else can we you know advance and so for youtube um i used to post like three times a week i went down to once a week once a fortnight and now it's like once a month and i'm now trying to get back to my regular schedule anyway a lot of things happened in between that i would have wanted to talk oh i would have wanted to comment on i was just like maybe i should go live so i don't have to edit like there are so many things i would have commented on and you all know like the things i like to talk about the stuff i'm passionate about and so i was like if i'm going to do a video recapping everything i would have wanted to say that thing would have been three hours long and so for me i just picked the ones that i've spoken of before in my video i came up or happened um while i was away and also um i narrowed them down to only three okay to three items which i felt like should be said should be talked about so yeah in case you came here um while i was away this is what i do i just do commentary on hashtags and i give my opinion and if you check the comment section people give their opinions i really don't even see through to delete those guys who don't agree with me in fact i like a good debate you know teach me something new if i if i don't know anything or if i if i said something wrong in the video correct me you know i like the interactions i like the back and forth um well keep it positive at the same time because no one's here for bad vibes anyway let me just go on to the first one um first and foremost one of my videos that has gained so many views in the past like two months has been a video that i posted saying um well, it was a hashtag Kenya versus Nigeria on Twitter, but it was just for jokes and fun. Like people were just having a go at it, exchanging memes, you know, laughing about um, jokes, basically. And the video um, kind of gained up to 12,000 views. More views came in um, because of this whole Nigeria um, protest. As we all know, there have been protests against police brutality and so during that time is when my video which mentioned nigeria um kind of got more views and i want to just say this i really applaud the youth of nigeria for taking a stand going out to the streets to stand up for something that they believe in and i i i, I feel bad that they had some had to lose their lives in the process but i know it's for the good of the country and i commend everyone who has taken a stand or shown support towards that and basically, honestly, there are so many things that were happening around that time also in other African countries that I felt like, okay, so where are we heading to? Because we really do need a revolution even here in Kenya, but I'm not going to talk about that. Anyway, while that was happening, um, we had um, celebrities from Africa also calling upon other celebrities to help them kind of put the word out and, and, you know, gain support online, sign petitions and so that we can have the world speaking about this and um one particular celebrity tiva savage did a video calling out beyonce to ask her to lend her voice to end SARS in nigeria now 
Some of you had called Beyonce Mama Africa some time back when Beyonce released her video on uh, Black is King. And I actually posted about that asking like, do you really know what it means to be Mama Africa? Do you know why Miriam Makeba has that title up to date? And do you know why we would rather give it to Tiwa Savage, um, Yemi Alade, Angelique Kijo before we give it to Beyonce? It's not just about producing music for the masses to enjoy and look at, but there's some significance that comes with um, Miriam Makeba having that title. She was very instrumental in civil rights movements in South Africa. Anyway, so going back to um, Tiwa Savage calling upon Beyonce, um, you know, uh, most guys were saying, oh, we're waiting for Mama Africa to respond, you know, because Beyonce released music saying Black is King and she had all these African props and African people dancing and whatnot. You know, she should have something to say now because, you know, when you celebrate with Africa at the time when Africa is in trouble, <laughs> that you should come back oh sorry when you're celebrating africa and african culture during the good times you should also be there during the bad times and this is the time when africa ideally would need beyonce quote unquote okay we demystified this whole um thing or title in a video that i did and that's why i'm bringing it up right now because people are like what do you mean you're normalizing calling beyonce mama africa when the real things happen where we need a mama africa to step up we don't see them on our soil okay i like what isra sunny posted saying at beyonce you need to answer tiwa's call it's not by wearing cow skin you can't pick and choose when you want to be associated with africa you you, you can't um claim to be of african culture blah 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 when singing, dancing, and whatnot, and then when the real things happen, you are nowhere to be found. Disclaimer, Beyonce did reply, and she had already put other programs in place to respond to answers and stuff like that. So just because she wasn't overtly out loud about it, people felt like, ooh, Mama Africa is silent. My question is, who named her Mama Africa? We have many others. Anyway, so one other thing that really caught my eye, that time when people are naming Beyonce Mama Africa, someone else called Barack Obama the leader of the black world. Let me just post this. Um, Saada says, Sir Barack Obama, you are the leader of the black world. Uh, Nigeria is in a bad state. Protesters are being shot at and killed. Your voice will make a great change. West Africa needs you. Okay, pause. I'm not taking away any accolades that Barack has amongst the black people. But those who are those who are giving out these titles, you, you really have to be so desperate that you don't even look at any other leaders locally. And I'm not saying politicians because they've also failed us in a way or two. But for you to think that the solution for Africa is outside and 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 attach it to celebrities. I mean, I saw a post saying between Beyonce and Rihanna, who is Mama Africa? And I'm like, who? You know, it's... Ugh. Mm. Mm. Anyway, um, to that post, Peace responded saying, why are you giving these people these titles? First, Beyonce is Mama Africa and now Obama is the leader of the black world. First of all, I didn't even know they the leader of the black world. And now um, Barack apparently, um, we're going a bit too fast. Now to go back to my disclaimer, yeah, Beyonce had programs and stuff already in place to support these African countries. She really did. Um, Rocket posted saying Beyonce continues to address and support NSAS movement. And she also posted a reminder of other crises going on in other African countries and how people can also lend their voice and support. If you go to Beyonce.com, it's all there. Okay, it's all laid out. She may not have, you know, come out to post a video like the day it began the day the protesters went to the streets but she actually ha had effort 
<laughs> she actually put effort out um towards the movement she brought about um other hashtags from countries like liberia namibia south africa ivory coast ghana zimbabwe like so many things that were happening at that time and she even posted links where guys can donate how guys can support um sign petitions support organizations that are helping people on the ground families coalitions and what not um medical care for protesters cover expenses of emergency ooh expenses of emergency <laughs> expenses of emergency shelter yo i'm from the bay area <laughs> so hard to say expenses of emergency shelter for those people and also legal fees for those arrested so all this like she that that was her contribution and i and, and i applaud it okay at the same time remember our solution is not based on a celebrity or someone who is away from Af like really we, we 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 do need to be our own um backbones we need to have our own uh systems if if that's the case okay i did not like how people were just saying um if Beyonce had spoken earlier this would not have uh, no 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 this was pegged on so many happenings and so many things that one person putting out a statement would not have ended it even up to now it's still ongoing and I, I applaud every single person who has taken a step towards things like this around the world so it's, it's like this yeah it's normally like this it's like it never took a break i know <laughs> anyway um moving on to the next topic which is even so funny to me like i it, it's it's like entertainment okay um i posted some time back it says five months ago i posted about when guys wanted to delete facebook the hashtag said hashtag delete facebook and the reason being was because of um now former president <laughs> can't make this up former president trump and his tweets and whatnot um they were being censored at that time and because facebook wasn't censoring anything that he was saying that was wrong guys were like we really can't be on facebook yet they support they propagate this kind of behavior especially from a head of state where you can actually tweet something that can start you know a trickle effect on everywhere else around the world anyway so um well you know what happened during the elections you know this guy um according to sources <laughs> who called the election results he lost he lost and up until today he is still on twitter trying to post not no well i guess also on facebook um posting his you know uh, uh the election petitions um posting that he he won the elections i mean even up until today he's still posting he won um but what i like about twitter is that they censor each and every post that he says that is not true okay and this is something we don't see on facebook anyway so what he was saying like okay i'm, I'm just going to show you a screenshot of his tweets i'm not going to read them because i uh, it's not I, I, I don't have the energy <laughs> nor do i have the will <laughs> To read those tweets but take note of the fact that twitter actually puts a disclaimer under each of his tweets that are saying things that are not true saying this claim about the election fraud is disputed okay and i like that kind of uh rebuttal because again not just anyone should come onto a social media platform and say things that could have such drastic uh trickle effects down on people on democracy on peace in the world okay and so when i was posting this much much earlier on you know talking about how social media should have some sort of censorship and how guys were saying delete facebook because it doesn't seem to have that kind of censorship on this one particular person where well, people were like um i don't think that's necessary now you see how necessary it is to have such kind of control okay um even like two weeks after elections he was still posting i won the election and twitter quickly quickly <laughs> puts the disclaimer saying multiple sources called this election differently that's what it should be like i wish they could also 
uh, enforce this in other countries because as Kenya I think we have we have elections coming up in two years time and uh, uh, politicians have already begun spewing out words on social media which I think should have those disclaimers at the bottom you know you better be saying the correct things because what you say can actually harm a whole country you know and I, I commend uh, uh, the, the, the Jack <laughs> of Twitter for this and I also recommend that Zuckerberg uh, text note anyway it, it's funny to see like what you said months ago um still stands until today i like to give that kind of commentary and i think now i think i have enough videos if not uh, almost there enough to go back and say i said what i said so like i said earlier in the video i really like i like i like discussion i like debate respectful debate so please do make sure you give me your opinion on these three videos that i did and the recap of like a, the, the, the what do you call it like the the updates on them um just to reiterate the video i did about kenya versus nigeria and how now nigeria the things that are happening there my video kind of got a little bit more views because of that and i feel like i can't just come out here and talk about a country and 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 we can laugh about the jokes but not mention the serious stuff i've seen comments saying um you should not focus on comparing african countries you should focus on bringing them together and i feel like these hashtags did bring us together uh secondly the video i did on mama africa beyonce what not not and its connection now to the nigeria protests and why i feel like you guys the guys who are referring to Beyonce as Mama Africa now understand that Mama Africa is not a title that you just give to anyone just because they're, they're a celebrity. Like you really have to have had some significant influence in Africa, particularly when the tire hits the road. The serious matters that affect Africans, the ones living in Africa, that's, that's what gives you the title. Like what have you done when we are down, when we need you, when you need that hero? Okay, um, on the third one, <laughs> uh, about these elections, you know, and censorships that's still going on even on social media, I feel like it's important. That time it was important and even now it's even more important. So let me know what you think about those three, what you thought about, you know, what I talk about. And I'll see you in my next video. I promise you it will not be a month before I post the next one. Bye-bye.